hello and welcome today we are going to learn the linear pattern in the SOLIDWORKS I have already created the two excluded part the where I am going to pattern this feature in the X direction and in the Y direction that is row and the column first of all activate the linear pattern command now you have to select the feature to feature or faces to pattern select this feature this feature has the red face at the top of the feature now in the direction one you have to select the edge you can vary the spacing between the instances suppose 25 and you can increase or decrease the number of instances let's keep 6 and provide the spacing 30 mm or you have the another options you can select the up to reference let's try it now you have to select the suppose if it is 2 now it will create total 2 instances if you select up to reference and if you provide the reference as this face it will create automatically by calculating the required number of instances for this time let's keep spacing and instances same as in the direction one you can provide the spacing and up to reference we are going through we are going with the spacing and instances same as in the direction one the instance is this spacing is 30 and the number of instances 5 provide the direction this face now it will create the pattern in the column that means it will create the pattern of the pattern instances in the other direction here is a, another option also available pattern sheet only if you select this it will create the pattern in the original direction of the feature now I am going to deselect this time now if you have the body or the surface to pattern you have to select this body solid body or the surface this time I am going through feature now here is another option instances to escape activate it now you can skip the any instance now hand is activated simply click it and the instance will be removed from here if to regain this instance again click this point in this way the instance to skip works now here are the two options geometry pattern propagate the visual properties and the vary sketch if you select the geometry pattern the in conditions and the calculations are ignored in the pattern features if you want to select the geometry pattern it will increase the rebuilt speed of your pattern feature because the pattern is a complicated feature and it will take the longer time to process the desired pattern so for the quick output generation simply select the geometry pattern otherwise you can deselect it now simply click ok now the pattern is created but red face is not available in the output pattern so how to do this go to edit the feature now here is a option propagate the visual properties simply click it and see the result now the red face is propagated in the all the instances again go to the edit feature now here is another option instances to vary now you can vary the spacing instances and the other parameters for the single instances 
let's try with uh, selecting the one instance you can vary the vary in the direction one as well as in the direction two select this one you can skip the individual instance to regain it you have to unskip the instance again select it you will find the modify instances now you can change the value in the direction one for spacing and in the direction two also for this let's try in the direction one double click it suppose if it is 140 again go to edit modify instances and let's edit the direction to spacing provide 5 mm in this way you can vary the individual instances this much in the linear pattern simply click ok now in case of the linear pattern the one option is remaining that is vary sketch with the help of vary sketch we can create the variable pattern like this let's see how to do it now go to file new part and ok and create as body go to front print sketch take a line command and you can draw any shape let's dimension it this one is a 50 mm this one let's say 100 you can input any value and this one is 200 mm okay go to feature and exclude any height let's say 10 mm okay now go to this face sketch normal now take a line command and draw any shape to create the feature to pattern let's dimension this this one let's say 7 mm and the important dimension that is distance of the feature from the this edge is 7 mm simply click ok go to offset and select this edge reverse the direction provide the 10 mm offset with the res reference to this offset that is 10 mm it will create the variable sketch pattern in this surface now go to trim entities and trim these unwanted lines okay you can dimension this point from bottom surface also seven okay now go to feature you can exclude or exclude cut now we are going to exclude cut in condition is through all okay now the feature is created now to create the very sketch pattern simply select the exclude cut and activate the linear command now this one is the important input that is direction one in direction one simply select this dimension now you can see the preview you can reverse the direction still there is no vary in the instances or you can select the up to reference and select the face it will automatically create the required number of pattern now you can change the spacing between the instances support if it is 12 and to create the vary sketch you have to select the vary still there is no any change to see the changes simply select the full preview now our required preview is available select the geometry pattern also and click ok now this message is power that means a pattern with a variable scale option is not suitable for geometry pattern this means we have to deselect this and click ok in this way you can create the use the very sketch in the linear pattern this much for today